Hello everyone, this is Dr. Meesha once again with another video. In this video, we are going to learn about the exchange rate regime since 1973 under the subject International Monetary System. So let us see what were the various exchange rate regimes since 1973. Okay, now we need to go through various exchange rate regimes that took place since 1973. Okay. So, few exchange rate regime which are prevailing at present also since 1970, few of them are stated here. So, the very first one is the managed float system that we just went through in the last thereafter we have free float system okay next we have the crawling peg system so these are basically three systems of exchange rate regime which are since 1973 thereafter we have currency board arrangement and target zone arrangement so managed float free float and crawling peg are basically systems whereas currency board and target zones are arrangement which have been made for exchange rate since 1973 so now let us understand what does each and every headers mean okay first we'll go through those three systems which were mentioned earlier the number one was manage float system now what is this here the country's monetary authorities basically the central bank intervenes directly or indirectly to stabilize the exchange rate and to keep it within the desired limit so if the central bank has decided an exchange rate let's say for india let's say 65 rupees is equal to one dollar and if the rate fluctuates a lot beyond that limit the central bank will get the rate back to 65 it is also known as dirty float system so the other name for managed flow system is also known as the dirty float system so this was the first system which was mentioned next comes free float system now under the system the exchange rate is determined solely by the interaction of market forces of demand and supply here there is no government intervention it is also known as independent or clean float system so this is something similar to you know the flexible exchange rate system where the exchange rate is determined by the interaction of demand and supply or the interaction of the market forces here again government does not intervene and that's the reason it is known as the independent or clean float system okay after this come the next system which is known as the crawling peg system now this system is a hybrid version of fixed and flexible exchange rate system where country establishes the par value of its currency in relation to a foreign currency or a basket of currencies and then allows the par value to change gradually so under this first the country sets or fix a price a par value of its currency with a foreign currency and once that value is fixed then it allows to change according to the market forces so here it is a hybrid of fixed and flexible exchange rate system okay so this system is known as the crawling peg so start it will be at fixed rate at par value it will be pegged with a foreign currency or a basket of currency and thereafter it will be allowed to move according to the market forces so these were the three systems which were since 1973 the first one was managed float system 
the second is free float system and the third one was crawling peg system okay now after the systems we had two arrangements which were made so we'll start discussing one by one the first arrangement is known as currency board arrangement now what is this all about so as the first po first point suggests a currency board pegs the domestic currency to a foreign currency and uh, allows unlimited exchange of domestic currency for the foreign currency at the fixed exchange rate so under this your domestic currency will be pegged with a foreign currency and then it will be allowed unlimited exchange of domestic currency for that foreign currency at a fixed exchange rate so if the rate has been pegged let's say india a domestic currency's rate has been pegged with us at 65 rupees a dollar so at that particular rate unlimited exchange will be available second point states that the currency board is required to build a reserve of the foreign currency equivalent to the amount of domestic currency it has issued so now this is a very important point to the amount of domestic currency that a country has issued the similar amount or an equivalent amount to your domestic currency has to be built up by ways of reserves of foreign currency so if you have a hundred crores amounting of domestic currency a equivalent amount of foreign reserve will as will also be need to build up so this is currency board arrangement the next arrangement was target zone arrangement now here a group of nation with common goals and interests agree to either maintain exchange rates within a specific band or to replace their domestic currency with a common currency so nation which are small enough okay and if they have common goals and interests and then if they agree to maintain the exchange rate within a specific band or they can even replace their you know domestic currency with a common currency which will be there in either of the nations so these were the two arrangement which are carried out one is the currency board arrangement where the rate of domestic currency is fixed with a foreign currency and then there can be unlimited exchange rate exchange of currencies second was the target zone arrangement under this a group of nation with common and you know the similar interest either fix a rate or replace that domestic currency to a common currency which is available in all those group of nation okay now let us go through various currencies uh, let us go through countries using different exchange rate system now we discuss various exchange rate systems so let us see now which country follows which exchange rate system the very first one was managed float system now under managed float system countries that follow them are india russia egypt and singapore next is the free float system now free float system is followed by united state united kingdom japan switzerland and australia next the crawling peg system now let us see which country follows the crawling peg peg to single currency we have jordan we have iraq we have bahamas we have lebanon maldives saudi arabia and qatar the next was the arrangement so under currency board arrangement countries that use this particular exchange system is hong kong which is pegged to dollar and lastly we have target zone arrangement 
which is followed by the European monetary system. So these were, you know, few countries, an example of few countries which use different exchange system, which we discussed earlier. So under managed float, we have India, Russia, Egypt and Singapore. Under free float, we have United States, United Kingdom, Japan, Switzerland, Australia. Under crawling peg, we have Jordan, Iraq, Maldives, Qatar, Saudi Arabia. Under currency board arrangement, we had Hong Kong. And lastly, under target zone arrangement, we have all the European monetary system.